Now there are two great ways to help support Jono Cigars. Smokeagoodoneshop.com and on Patreon. So click those links in the description below and help support this great cigar channel. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Joe with Jonas Cigars. The year is almost over. It is that time of year again for everybody to start putting together their top 10 lists. Uh, I know a lot of people don't really put a whole lot of stock into top 10 lists, and neither do I, quite honestly. But they are always a lot of fun, and even though I don't put a whole lot of stock into them, I still like to read what everybody's top 10 lists are, just to see what their thoughts are, because it's fun. Top 10 lists are fun. And that's why I always do one every year. And uh, take it for what you will. These are the ones that really did it for me. And this year has been just a fantastic year for blends out there. I have smoked so many 90 point plus rated cigars by, um, by my estimation. And uh, I uh, don't know what you guys will think of these. I really, really just dug these cigars. These are the ones that really did it for me this year. And uh, that's saying a lot because it was a really, really hard list to put together, to confine it to just 10 entries. It was difficult, because there were so many that I wanted to include, and I almost entertained the idea of maybe expanding the list to 15 or 20, just because I wanted to, you know, just mention some of these cigars, but I'm not going to do that this time. I am just going to stick with the ones that are, in my estimation, the top 10. So without further ado, here are Jonas Cigars, top 10 cigars of 2021. So starting us off in the number 10 spot is the Aladino Corojo number no. four by Aladino Cigars, obviously. Uh, this is coming from the Aroa family of cigars, and this one is a Honduran Pearl, five by 44 ring gauge. It is just a fantastic blend of Honduran tobacco, and it really does show how incredible Honduran tobacco can be. Uh, I was not super into Honduran tobacco when I first started getting into smoking cigars, and it wasn't really agreeing with my palate in my first few years when I was smoking them. And the more I have smoked cigars, the more I've really come to appreciate Honduran tobacco and the flavor that it imparts, particularly when it comes from the Aroa family, because they tend to have some of the best Corojo strain tobaccos in the market today. The Corojo Reserva No. 4, nice, short little cigar, comes with that wonderful little paper sheath around the outside makes it stand out pretty simple looking band work kind of harkens back to those old cuban cigars that didn't have a whole lot of you know fluff or anything on the cigar bands it was a very simple cigar and it just smokes fantastic a uh, wonderful musty sweet cedar graham cracker vanilla cream nuts i love this stick and it's one that a lot of other people like too this one really did it for me Number 10 spot with 94 points is what I gave it. Moving on to number nine, this comes from HVC, Rainier Lorenzo's brand. Uh, HVC, of course, stands for Havana City. He is, of course, a Cuba native, and he has set up his own cigar brand in Nicaragua. And uh, HVC, all in all, has always been something that has never disappointed me. They have one blend called the Hot Cake pretty regular production stick for them and then they started working with Pravada Cigar Club and they wanted to make a special Vitola exclusive for the Pravada Cigar Club and they called this one the hot chocolate cake and this one was particularly good even among the hot cake blend wonderful 6x50 Vitola it's got a fairly snug draw but he did that on purpose to kind of accentuate and intensify the draw flavors and you do get some great draw flavors on this one excellent notes Iced chocolate cake, almost like a German chocolate cake. Wonderful caramel, smoked chili spice, candy pecan, and cinnamon. It is absolutely wonderful. Even though I am not a huge fan of the tighter draws, didn't mind it on this one because the smoke was so good. It's got a wonderful blend of Nicaraguan long fillers and binder with an excellent Mexican San Andres wrapper over the outside. Love this blend, and I think you will too. You can still get these on Pravada Cigar Club's online shop. So do yourself a favor and check out the hot chocolate cake. Rated this one 94 points for the number nine spot. Moving into the number eight spot, we go to Jeffrey Amendola's line, the Amendola family cigars, and the original cannoli, the cannoli red, otherwise known as the cannoli Maduro. This is a beautiful five and a half by 42 ring gauge box press Corona. 
I absolutely fell in love with the cigar the first time I got it and uh, was quick to get some more as soon as they had the re-up released. And uh, this is just a classic example of a fine, fine dessert cigar. Wonderful, rich, sweet, dark, and milk chocolate notes. You get caramel, you get pastry cream, you get this great level of spice and this oily texture that is just dripping all over the palate. Everything I want from a dessert cigar. So check out the Amendola Cigar Company Cannoli in Red. Into the number seven spot this year, we have Capa Especial 2021 Limited Edition Aguilas from Crown Heads. This is a bit of a departure from their typical annual release from the Capa Especial line. We get a Vitola that is a perfecto. It is beautiful and elegant to look at, and it smokes like a dream. Get this wonderful texture, balance and nuances with elegant flavors, Sumatran coffee, fragrant cedar, vanilla scented pipe tobacco, nutmeg and roasted nuts, I absolutely love the cigar and definitely went out and bought a box as soon as I had a couple because it was one that I knew I was going to come back to often and I think you should too. So check out Kappa Special 2021, the limited edition from Crown Heads. In the number six spot this year is a newcomer to my top 10 list and that's Noel Rojas. His entire portfolio of blends are all fantastic winners, but the Street Tacos is the one that really stood out for me from his lineup. Street Tacos, the name itself just evokes wonderful culinary images that I uh, am kind of partial to. And uh, this cigar does not disappoint. We got this wonderful blend of Nicaraguan long fillers, and long uh, Nicaraguan binder, and an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper leaf. 5x50 Robusta was the Vitol that really stuck to me. And uh, I got incredible flavors of savory and spicy meaty marinades, cinnamon, citrus, white pepper, honey, agave nectar sweetness, little bits of oak and herbs, and an overall juicy feeling texture to the smoke that I just fell in love with. So do yourself another favor and check out Noel Rojas. Pay particular attention to his street tacos. In the number five spot, we go back to another Pravada Cigar Club exclusive. And I know this might seem a little biased that I'm including so many of them that come from Pravada, but I gotta say, uh, some of these exclusives that come from Pravada are some of the best cigars I've ever had. And one such blend is Aganorsa's Leaf Supreme Leaf and their particular Vitola that they have exclusive for the club, and that is the Gran Robusto. It comes in at 6x50. It's a box press Maduro stick, which is basically a Toro, really. But they call it a Gran Robusto. Okay, I'll take it for whatever they say. This is the fourth Vitola that the Supreme Leaf line has had. They have had a Robusto, they've had a Toro, they've had a Torpedo, and now they have this Gran Robusto, which is a box pressed 6x50, like I said. Absolutely incredible full bodied cigar. Super rich and thick flavors with notes of creamy and malty chocolate, leather, earth, rich cocoa, fruity notes, black pepper, and charred oak. You also get French roast coffee, applewood, shredded wheat, vanilla bean, butter cookies, and salts of salted pretzel with just a few touches of sweet cherry towards the end. I absolutely love the Supreme Leaf, and uh, I gotta say, the Grand Robusto is the one that really, really does it for me. Coming in at the number four spot, we have an entry from the LCA. And this is a very, very late entry into my list. And it kind of took me by surprise. For those of you who don't know, the LCA, the Limited Cigar Association, is a subsidiary of Provada Cigar Club. The concept is put some limited release cigars in the hands of local brick and mortar shops around the United States to help bolster foot traffic into their shops and kind of help their business along and uh, that's something that I certainly appreciate. This one really, really is a special one, not only for LCA releases, but cigars in general. It is incredibly elegant and refined and sophisticated. Something that I think anybody who loves cigars is going to appreciate. This comes from Christian Aroa, collaborating with Brian Descent to put out something truly special to cap off a year of the LCA releases. It is called the LCA Reserva Vintage 21. It is a 6x44 ring gauge Honduran Pearl using all Corojo tobacco. It's got amazing flavors. We've got elegant flavors of cream, cinnamon, graham cracker, caramel, fragrant cedar, seltzer, and almonds with flirty notes of Prosecco and grapefruit and eventually getting to marshmallow and butterscotch. The draw is divine. The smoke texture is amazing. It's a mild to medium, which is not something that I tend to go to all that often, but when one of those that really stands out to me, I've got to tip my hat to it, and this is one such cigar. Do yourself a favor. 
find however many you can and get them because these are not going to last forever and you're going to want to smoke them before they're gone. Moving on into the top three spots, we are now going to go to Warp Cigars. Kyle Gellis, who is only 32 years old, makes some of the best, most flavorful cigars I have ever had the pleasure of smoking. And this Nicaraguan Puro is no exception. It is the Maestro del Tiempo. I really like the 6102R Vitola, which is a five and a quarter by 48 ring gauge stick. Nicaraguan Pearl, like I said, and it is a medium to medium full bodied cigar with wonderful flavors of chocolate, brown butter, fruity coffee nuances, candied pecan, yeasty bread notes, marzipan and roasted almond, later on getting maple candy, caramel, touches of vanilla, charred peppery oak, and robust dark roast coffee. Absolutely stunning and uh, I'll be coming back to Warp Cigars more and more after this year because I have been peaked and there ain't no going back. Another newcomer to the list in the number two spot comes from Casdagli Cigars, a cigar company that has a lot of its cigars made in Costa Rica. And Costa Rica is a country of origin that I am really starting to pay more and more attention to, this one in particular. This is the Daughters of the Wind in Sabino. The Sabino is a beautiful, hefty, perfecto Vitola, 6 and 6.2 inches by 60 ring gauge, and usually I'm not a big fan of the bigger ring gauge cigars, but this one really, really surprised me. We have a draw and flavor profile that starts off kind of on the muted side. You don't really start getting a whole lot until you get past that initial taper at the foot. And as soon as that happens, the flavor and the draw explode and start wrapping you up into an amazing experience. You get salty, sweet nuttiness, sweet coffee with cream, silky butter, maple syrup sweetness and texture, general baking spices, and then you start getting flavors of candied almonds, buttery cashew, nutmeg, allspice, vanilla custard, white pepper, cinnamon sugar, blueberry, warm buttery pastry crust. And by the time you get to the last few inches, you realize that there were flavors that you probably have never gotten before in a cigar, which probably is just a summation of all those things being blended together in a combination that is absolutely sublime. This is an expensive cigar, MSRP of around $24. But I will tell you, take it from me, it is very much worth that $24 for the flavor and the smoke time that you get out of this. You're going to get easily two hours plus out of this, and it's going to be two hours of sheer bliss. So the Casdagli Daughters of the Wind and Sabino is the number two cigar with 97 points. And before we reach our number one selection, I'd like to do a couple of honorable mentions. The first one comes from Tatuaje and the T110 Capa Especial. They do have two particular blends in the T110 line this year. They have the Broadleaf and then they have the Capa Especial, which is the Sumatra wrapper leaf over Nicaraguan long fillers and binder. And that is the one that I preferred over the two this year. Great medium to medium full body cigar, very oily, wonderful nutty flavors, sweet and baking, sweet baking spices, excellent cedar, and an overall enjoyable smoke from start to finish. It is a short little cigar, only four and three eighths by 52 ring gauge stick. You still get a very good smoke time out of it and an overall satisfying experience. Love Tatuaje cigars in general. The T110 Capa Special really stood out for me from them. And the second honorable mention comes from All Saints Cigars, another fairly new cigar company on this list, and the first time they've made an entry for uh, my list for the end of the year, and that is their blend, the Solamente. It's a hefty 5 and by 58 ring gauge cigar, kind of a big fat robusto, I suppose, and it's a medium to medium full body cigar that is thoroughly oily, wonderful roasted nuts, hazelnuts, sweet coffee, and overall great woodiness that I thoroughly enjoyed. Notes of chocolate in there at times, but overall, just a beautiful cigar. And All Saints has been bringing some fantastic blends. So don't sleep in All Saints and check out the Solamente. And at long last, we come to the number one entry on my list that comes from Tony Barrios of Stayoni Cigars. I had the pleasure of talking with Tony during a virtual interview earlier this year. He is a phenomenal person with a great passion for his craft and he has been bringing some incredible cigars to the industry. The one that really did it for me. Wouldn't you know, it's another Pravada Cigar Club exclusive. It is the Stayoni Cigars Pravada Exclusivo. This is a 6x54 box press cigar. Nicaraguan long fillers. Fillers that come from Esteli, Jalapa, and Ometepe. We also have a binder 
that comes from Venezuela. It's a Venezuela burly tobacco that has been aged five years in X rum casks with a Mexican San Andres wrapper aged three years. This is an absolutely sublime cigar. Superbly full bodied, full flavored, full strength cigar. Everything I want for something at the end of the day, at the evening, when I'm trying to forget the day and get ready for tomorrow. Everything about this cigar is perfect from the flavor profile, the texture, the draw, the appearance, everything about it screams elegance, refinement, and above all else, powerful, powerful flavor. Tony Barrios has had his blends featured with Bravada Cigar Club in the monthly boxes in months past, and he took it upon himself to make a special blend exclusively for Bravada members, and it does not disappoint. We get these wonderful, incredible flavors. Complex, balanced, intense, and remarkably original. The blend itself is incredibly creative using that Venezuelan burly tobacco. I didn't even know that existed. The flavors range from traditional notes of dark chocolate, espresso, and bread to extremely nuanced flavors of smoky chili, orange liqueur, and cola syrup. There are fruity notes of lemon, berries, black cherry, and plum, invigorating spices of cinnamon and cayenne, and even notes of vanilla, cream soda, marzipan, coconut, menthol, and curry spice. This is definitely something that if you have the opportunity to smoke, you will want to do it. Take your time with it, set aside a special place and uh, some alone time to have it and smoke it thoughtfully and carefully and make sure you try to pick up every single nuance you can because there are many and there is so much that can be unloaded from the cigar. I was absolutely thrilled with the cigar and very, very happy to have met the, bl uh, met the blender himself, even if it was just during a virtual interview. Hats off to Stione Cigars. Be paying attention to these guys in uh, the coming years because they're going to be doing great things for the cigar industry. And I am just so excited to have been able to have smoked three of these cigars before they were all gone. So there you go. There is the top 10 list of Jonas Cigars for 2021. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you thought there was something that I should have mentioned, by all means, let me know. I always like to hear other people's comments about cigars that they've enjoyed. There are no right or wrong answers after all. Taste is subjective and no one can account for taste and everybody's profile and palate is different as is mine. So by all means, let me know some of your favorites. I always like to hear what everybody else is smoking because I always like to try it myself. I obviously have not tried every cigar available on the market. There's no possible way I could have done that, but these are the ones that stood out for me and those are my top 10. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, in case you were wondering, we are going to be giving away a sampler, one of each of my top 10 in this list, uh, and that is going to be for any Sago VIP member who is a member on Patreon through Jonas Cigars. Your name is going to be entered into the drawing, and I will draw the name for that giveaway uh, shortly after the beginning of the 2022 uh, year. So be looking for that announcement on the YouTube channel. I'll also make the announcement on Instagram. So if you are a Sago VIP, you have a chance of winning. And that's going to be in addition to the December gift of giveaway that I'll already do for my VIPs and Saga Plus members. So that's just a special giveaway that I do on top of my normal giveaways. If you're looking for that, thanks again for watching. Help you have a great new year. Until next time, everybody, smoke a good one. Thank you so much for watching Jonas Cigars. Click here on this head to subscribe. Click here to watch more.